Hello everybody and welcome to Fig Fanatic. My name is Jesse and today we have got an unboxing that I am especially excited for because I ordered this bad boy back in April and today it finally came. That is Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. I ordered this uh, SH Figure Arts figure back in April and uh, it was a great price. It was only like 35 bucks. Normally these figures, once they hit the market, they just sort of get them out of print, it seems, and they just skyrocket up to unforeseen values of 100 plus. So I'm too cheap. I'm not paying that. So I was really glad to be getting this figure. Let's open it up because, again, I wanted to open this as soon as I got in the mail. But I'm like, well, this is a really cool figure. I should probably do it on camera. So here we are. I'm going to open this up. And I tell you, I am super, super pumped about this figure. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. This is one of my first ones I've ever gotten. Well, actually, this is my second new one. This is my third one total of the Dragon Ball uh, SH Figure Arts figures. Um, the first one I got was a Broly, and it was a used one, but, I mean, it, all these pieces, it was brand new looking. But it was Broly from the Dragon Ball Super movie, and that thing was pretty cool. And then I got a Goku um, on clearance at Walmart for like 12 bucks. So I was like, uh, cool. <laughs> I have no idea why it was 12 bucks. They're still at Target to this day for full price. And this was like two months ago. So anyways, I was not going to turn this down. Well, there he is. How cool is that? Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose. Um, really awesome. The hair looks so cool because it's like chromey. And of course... He has all of his freaking hands. It's different kind of. He's very flexible. He can do it in any kind of position that you need him to do. And look at that. How cool is that? You can have him fly around, do what he's saying. Yeah, very flexible. Very cool. Look at that. Very, very cool. Now, I always hate changing the faces on these things because I feel like. It always makes you feel like you're just going to destroy this figure. <laughs> now it looks like Vegeta with a wicked, a wicked uh, Widow's Peak. But that's how you got to change out his face. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's just a really horrifying image to see that. Like, what is that? It's like something from the movie The Thing. You know? Like he just starts convulsing and it turns out that he's infected. Um, so there's his first... His first face, so oh, that comes out right. He's just sort of sitting there with a smirk. There's like an intense face. Can't really see that. Doesn't do me any good. His frowny face, again, doesn't do me any good. And then his battle face. Let's put his battle face on. Of course, now that I actually have the figure, the only thing I notice that he doesn't have is like his little creepy face. If you know, if you watch the show, you know what I'm talking about. He has like a really creepy smile. That he does. He doesn't have that. That's kind of unfortunate. But super intense there. Let's get some of his other hands going on here as well. Now the storyline of Goku Black. Um, if you watch Dragon Ball Z. I assume you do if you watch this video. Um, if not, I'll just tell you. It's a weird storyline. Um, was not a fan of it. But it was what it was. But he, Goku Black, was awesome. He was basically a bad guy version of the main character, Goku. And, uh, like, possessed by a god. It was, like, his dead body from an alternate universe or timeline, whatever. Uh, and he was, yeah. I don't really get it. It was kind of weird. The whole thing was just weird and time travel and universe stuff. Storyline kind of sucked. They made, like, Future Trunks, who was a badass instead of kind of a little bitch. And it just, the whole thing was weird. They took, like, characters from Dragon Ball, like Mai, who was, like, a grown-ass woman who since has been turned into a child. And she was, like, in love with him. And then it was, like, some star-crossed lovers thing because, like, in, a, in, in his timeline, adult version of her uh, fell in love with him. Even though in that timeline she wouldn't have been that age, she would have been an older woman. I The whole thing was just real strange. I wasn't into it. But Goku Black was awesome. Goku Black was freaking sweet. Sorry, that was just long rant. I, I just didn't like that storyline. Um, but his two little fingers that he can, you know, 
shoot little beams and stuff like that. And then my favorite hands that he has, because he has the uh, the earring, which is a cool detail. I don't know if you can see the green in there at all, right there. But he has the fusion earring, because the other Zamasu, who's the bad guy, who, who's actually who he is in reality, but from a different universe or whatever. Um, yeah, so that's kind of cool. You know, the, the one thing I will say about this figure that's kind of weird is that he has a general purplish tint. I think they did it because of like he's powering up in the show as the rose, like it he had that tint to him. But like that was from like powering up and stuff. He wasn't just walking around with pink. I don't know, that's kinda weird. Anyways, so here's his other hands, like where he's like a tortured soul, like, oh no, woe is me. So that's kinda cool. And yeah. Now, normally I feel like they give you more stuff, but they didn't seem to with this one. Like, like he just has his hands and there's no blast or anything like that. I thought they could have given him his, uh, his scythe and maybe like a, like a, you know, power thing or something. Like, to shoot something. I don't know. That's just me. Um, I might just be overthinking it. But then again, he is, seems to be one of the more economical ones. Because I've noticed that... Some of them, when they come out, they're like $35 straight up like him. And some are like 50 or 60 But either way, once they're done making it, it just seems like they just double and triple in price, you know. Um, I just I just recently pre-ordered one because I'm like, if you don't buy this now, you know you're going to want it later. And then you're not going to be able to because I have limits about toys and that's one of them. I'm not, I'm not really into the idea of paying for like $100 for a toy. I, unless there would have to be some kind of abnormal attachment to it for me to do so. So like an older toy, like a retro toy, um, for me to want to do that. And I don't even know what the situation would be on that. But whatever the case is, it'd have to be something crazy. Because $100 for a single toy is pushing the limits with me. I don't even think I have anything close to that that I've ever even bought. I can't think of anything that I bought that was even approaching that price. For one single figure. Yeah, I don't think so. No, not even close. Anyways, so... Yeah, so they're very expensive figures. That's that's one downfall of the SH Figure Arts figures. Is they're just kind of pricey. Because um, I have right here... I got Goku. Regular Goku. He's pretty cool. He has a little teleport position. They're about the same size. That's cool. So you have regular Goku, Goku Black... Um, I did also think, I know I'm aware that like you're paying for Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. I just wish they would have just done like a couple different heads maybe. So you could have regular Goku Black and then this one. That's just me. Um, I just think Super Saiyan uh, Rose was cool. I, I think pink and black is a cool combination. I'm a very big fan of it. Um, but I digress. So that's pretty cool. And then of course, here is my... Dragon Stars one, and see, he has, like, his evil smile on there. His evil smile, I thought, came off really good, whereas here, I just, he didn't really get one. Um, now, granted, his, his hair looks more like cotton candy than it did anything else, but either way, I think it's kind of strange that with this one, they gave him that tint, and I only don't like that because, I don't know, I just sort of felt like if he's Goku Black, he doesn't have... It's like his clothes changed. I'm kind of conflicted right now, actually, on how I feel about this figure. Because I do... That does kind of bug me a little bit. Because this isn't really how he appeared to be in... Uh, you know, when you bought... I don't know. It's kind of weird. Not really sure how to feel. To be honest with you, my plan was to, uh, to, to get rid of this one. Because I kept the box, so I could just load him back up and sell him. Um, at least probably get half of what I paid for them. Um, but my only thing is like, I kind of still like this figure. I think it's really cool. Part of it is the discrepancy that you have pink, black, pink, black, pink, black, black. And, uh, I don't know. Plus he has his laser sword. That's kind of cool. Um, like just, you know, from a glance, it just looks pretty sweet, but yeah, weird. You know, um, if you look at the two together, 
The other, the Dragon Stars one is actually a very cool looking figure. Um, there's nothing inherently wrong with it. And then you got the SH Figures one, which he's posable and stuff, but I don't know. I'm kind of conflicted how to feel right now because, again, he doesn't really come with anything. He just comes with his handsies and his face. I'm starting to wonder if that's why they put that price tag on him. Again, I'm, I'm kind of new to SH Figures. I don't collect them typically. Um, I just, they're too expensive for my taste. I'm very picky about them. It was sort of an impulse decision when I bought it, um, online. Part of it was because I had a $5 gift card to, uh, GameStop. So I was like, well, it's going to expire. And I, at the time I was actually about to get back surgery back in the spring. So I was like, you're not going to be able to go anywhere and buy a bunch of shit. So you might as well, you know, feel like you're shopping. And I bought it. And, um, you know, I, it's not that I regret it. It's just, I don't know how to feel right now. You know, part of the problem with these unboxings sometimes is I get a figure and it's hard to kind of place my finger on how I feel about it right in that moment. But my knee-jerk reaction is slight disappointment. Slight disappointment. Um, I, I can't explain it. He just seems purple. And it kind of bugs me. It kind of bugs me, you know. You got pink on black. Looks cool. It's very, you could very much tell. But here, he has that tint of purple to him. And that's kind of looks weird. The hair is cooler on this one, for sure. Even though I kind of like the cotton candy look to his hair. This is more rosé. I'll give him that. Not cotton candy. This is rosé, for sure. But um, otherwise, really cool figure. Let's get it up close. He obviously looks great. You can put him in all kinds of poses, positions. All kinds of good stuff. He has great facials. Lack of the sinister little grin. He has the smirk. The intense face. And the frowny frown. Then, of course, he has his uh, action face. But he has all kinds of cool little handsies and stuff. Um, and that's great. Um... But overall, I don't know. I I just feel very conflicted about how to feel about it, you know? He just wasn't quite what I was expecting, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I guess the colors was bugging me. I just didn't realize just how purple he was as opposed to the black. His name's Goku Black, for Christ's sake. So, I don't know. I, I could see what they were going for. They probably also thought it differentiated him. From the other Goku Black figure. Which it does. I mean, completely it does. Um, but I, I don't know. I kind of feel like. Uh, throw me a bone here. I don't know. So overall cool figure. Um, I hate to do this. Yes. I'm going to give it an 8.5. I'm going to give it an 8.5. Um, he came with a lot of hands. But you know, for a $35 single figure. I would hope so. Um, it, there's a lot of cool things about him. But he didn't really come with any blasts. He didn't come with like the evil smirk, like the evil grin. He didn't have that. Um, and the color kind of bugs me. I don't know. I just kind of feel like they should have just left it alone and made him black. He has no blast. He has no laser sword thing. Um, I don't know. He didn't have his um, his, his scythe. Nothing. I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I was just under the assumption he would have that stuff. Um, it, admittedly, I didn't sit there and like deep research it. I just, I guess, uh, that was just where I thought he came with. Um, or something. I don't know. But either way, I think they could have done a little bit more with him. Um, with the face and the hands. And again, I always go by price point. The price point is $35. you got to give me something for $35. You know what I mean? you got to give me something. So that being said, um, given... That uh, I think he's a cool figure. I'm not. I'm not mad that I got it, but I definitely would say, um, if I'm being honest, I would have to give it a 8.5, which is still a good grade, but it could be better. It could be better. But anyways, still cool figure. I still have to figure out what to do with uh, my Dragon Stars figure. I don't know if I'll keep it or not. Um, I mean, just look at him, how cool he looks. I mean, right now he he looks like he's he's you know has a, a headache or a migraine or. He looks like me when he was watching uh, the Goku Black Saga on Dragon Ball Super. He was like, oh my god, why? Again, with this bullshit with Mei and Trunks. It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, 
I would say that overall, this figure is very cool. If you are into these figures, I don't think you'll be disappointed unless you are like me and you're weird and you just wanted his clothes to be black and not a tint of purple. But I digress. Great figure overall. Just mild complaints that I have about it. These are my rankings. These are my grades. And, and I can give it whatever I damn well please. 8.5. Anyways, thanks for checking me out. Always, we'll always have great stuff going on around here. Um, figure unboxings, fig hunts. Um, we're going to start doing some different stuff here in the near future. So stay tuned. But anyways, check me out on Instagram, fig underscore fanatic. And always check me out on Mondays and Fridays. I will always be putting new videos up. And other than that, take care. I hope you had a good Black Friday. And I will see you in the aisles.